In this tutorial, we will be editing a ring that's already existing within Custom Studio's selection. So we will go ahead and choose to view all the new arrivals. And let's go ahead and select a ring to bring it into edit. So now let's go ahead and find a ring that we like. Let's go ahead and select this style of ring. Click on quick view. And once you click on it, it should take you to the canvas with the ring. So here you have your video that displays the ring in 360 degrees. And once loaded, it will go ahead and play. And so this is the ring we will choose. So let's go ahead and select the front facing image. And now let's go and click edit. And this will take us directly to the canvas. Once we directly have brought it back into the canvas, let's go ahead and make the necessary changes. So for example, this ring has an oval. I want to go ahead and make this a princess cut bezel set in the center to make it more manly. So let's go ahead and select our stone shape. In this case, I will select the princess and a red garnet style. So now let's go ahead and go back to the image. And it looks like we need to go ahead and cover this oval stone first. So to do that, we will have to go ahead and select the metal filler. And so we'll go ahead and select the white gold color. Once that's populated on our canvas, let's go ahead and rotate it to the correct direction and then shrink it. Okay, so now once we have went ahead and covered the area that we want to go ahead and place the new stone over. All right, so once we have placed our metal filler, let's go ahead and select the stone choice that we would like. So in this case, it's going to be the red garnet style. So now let's go ahead and place this over our center head. If you would like, you can also expand the screen in order to view this easier. All right, so now we have our stone. Now let's go ahead and add some prongs to this. So in this case, as it has sharp edges, we will use V-tip prongs. Go ahead and select white since the ring is white. And once the heads and shanks populate, so will our prongs. Let's go ahead and select a one V-shaped prong. And now it has dropped into our canvas. Now all we have to do is just go ahead and rotate it like so. And then add this to the corner of our ring. Now let's go ahead and straighten it out like so. Perfect. So now that we have it sized to our correct proportion, all we have to do is make sure it's highlighted and duplicate the part.
All right, so now we have completed our style of bezel set or V-tip prong stone.